In today's video, I'll be doing a battery replacement on this iPad Pro. It's model A1709. This is the 10.5 inch um, iPad Pro. First thing we'll do is we'll place it on my heat plate to allow the adhesive to loosen up a little bit on the edge of the display. This whole video is going to be in, um, I'm going to be doing it fairly quickly. It's a, in fast forward, so plan for over an hour of, uh, of time for this, this repair. Um, but I'll wait a minute or so on the, on the heat plate. We'll take it off and take a pry tool. We'll go ahead and stick it there in the side. I find that on the sides it's best. You barely want to get the tip in. Then I take a plastic piece. Um, that acts like some, similar as a playing card, but it's slightly th thinner. Um, and, uh, and I'll use that. I'll go around the edges cut through the adhesive. I have a little bit of trouble on this corner. You know, the adhesive's thicker on the corners and for some reason I, I wasn't able to get it up as quickly as I normally am, but with enough uh, effort we'll be able to get through it. I could have edited this, edited this out, but there's no point to I'll show you how you know I, it's not always the easiest thing, so I'm showing you how reality is. I'll slide down the side there. We'll go ahead and uh, try to separate the bottom as well. And one of the reasons I like to use this plastic uh, piece is because it's uh, fairly forgiving. Uh, when you run into a ribbon cable or something, you're not going to cut through it. Whereas if you use a pry tool, a metal pry tool or something, even more rigid, like a, even a guitar pick, you could you could cut through and um, and hurt the, the cables. So once we have that off, we'll go ahead and uh, unscrew the battery connector there. Now that I have that off, I'm going to take this little plastic uh, tool that I made out of the same, same plastic piece. I just cut a little notch out. We'll give a little pressure on the board to lift it up, and we'll slide that in um, so that we can... Uh, and take away all the power to the device um, because on the iPad Pros you definitely want to if you're going to be doing any type of work especially disconnecting or reconnecting to the display you want to have the battery disconnected uh, we'll take off the bracket and disconnect all the connectors there and then we'll remove all the screws that hold down the uh, the plate the protective shield that goes over the logic board because there are connectors throughout that we need to remove. So we'll go ahead and pry up on the top and just pull it up. It'll slowly snap back. This shield tends to bend, but it's easy to bend back and it snap snaps back in fairly easily. There's uh, four or five connectors there at the top. Um, there's one there on the, the side, that one runs under the battery. And then there's the uh, connector for the SIM card tray, the Wi-Fi antennas, and then the, the speakers down there at the bottom that are on the, the bottom side of the, the logic board there. Go ahead and pull that up. Now having removed all the screws, we'll go ahead and set it back on the heat plate because the logic board and battery are both adhered to the, uh, to the back of the frame. I just placed some isopropyl alcohol um, under the uh, under the logic board, squirted it in there, and we'll go ahead and use the same plastic uh, sheet to wedge our way under the logic board to start to separate it. Using uh, the pry tool we can give it a little bit more of, uh, pressure so that it wants to lift out. We'll add some more uh, isopropyl alcohol as we go so that it can uh, loosen up and uh, allow us to lift it. I forgot to disconnect these uh, these little antennas here at the top. But... All right. Once that's loose, we can slowly start to uh, lift the board, and we'll have to uh, do the same thing towards the bottom. Once that's done, we can pull it out and set it aside. Uh, because we're replacing the battery, we'll uh, then start with some more alcohol under the battery. Um, I use this. Uh, um, this little uh, knife here, it's designed for um, oil painting, um, but uh, it's flat and long and it does the job, so I use it with the isopropyl alcohol to get under the battery and cut in each uh, section of this the adhesive here, 
I'm going to be extra careful right here around this cable because there's a cable under the battery that we don't want to cut or ruin. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, get around that and add more uh, alcohol as, as needed. And as I get close to where I know the cable's at, I'm going to start to use the plastic only because, uh, um, because I don't want to damage the cable. I'm getting there. And the alcohol won't do any damage to the cable, so it's okay to use more than needed. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add some... Uh, and clean up the, the old residue. I'll skip through this. Um, this takes some time, but you'll want to rub off. I like to rub off the majority of the adhesive with my finger. It tends to roll off, but it leaves behind a residue that I like to clean up so that the new adhesive on the new battery uh, has a good uh, surface to adhere to. take some time but it's worth uh, doing going the extra mile especially for the customer there it is nice and clean we'll go ahead and align the battery up with, uh, with the little um, where the screw goes at the bottom we'll go ahead and um, insert the, the motherboard back in making sure all the cables are uh, are going in the right spot it's a little tricky. Um, some of them like to fold under, and there's multiple ones, all, so you have to do them all at the same time. So up at the top, there's those four connectors um, plus the two antennas that you have to get out of the way. In the middle of the board, there's another connector there, and then at the bottom, you've got the uh, the SIM card tray um, connector, the speakers, um, the antenna for the Wi-Fi, and uh, um, of course, during the, the next portion of this process, I want to make sure the battery never uh, gets power to the logic board as we as we work on it. So I'll put that plastic piece back in place. Go ahead and connect all the connectors, making sure they're all securely on there. Once I'm sure that all the uh, the connectors and uh, antennas are are connected. Um, and that the, the battery is definitely isolated. We'll go ahead and uh, cover the logic board back up with the, the, uh, the shield. Here I'm connecting the, uh, the speakers again at the bottom. A little tricky, or it's kind of out of view. Alright. There we go, we're going to put that the shield back on, click it all down, and we'll put all the screws back. The uh, the top two screws screw into the actual logic board, but the, the next uh, eight screws are uh, surface mounted on the, the logic board. Um, Alright, with the battery still isolated, we'll go ahead and connect the display with the four connectors there. Making sure those are sturdy. Then I'm just going to put pressure down on the battery acting as if the screw's there. We'll go ahead and turn it on. There we go. We know the battery's working because it's coming on without issue. And um, There we go. We also had to replace the display on this because the, the uh, one of the main reasons the customer brought it in, it was broken. There we go. Hold on. If you like this video, check out some of my other videos. Here's where I'm doing the iPad Pro charge port repair. I also have videos of me doing the uh, backlight repair on the iPad Pro 10.5 like this. If, you, uh, if you're interested, I also have videos on how to replace the glass on all the different Apple Watches. I've got the Series 1, 2, and 3, uh, the 38 and 42mm online for you to enjoy watching. Uh, thanks for watching.